116. Um, this, again, is in that same mode. It's a resolution, and the posting is, you know, directing the city manager to study options related to removing wastewater infrastructure from within Barton Creek, restore pipe capacity, and to return with an update and recommendation. That posting's misleading. If you actually read the resolution, it's not uh, restoring the pipes. It's, again, ex the, the, the push is to expand the capacity in the sewer line that runs up the green belt uh, in the Barton Creek floodplain. Um, if this were amended, we'd be excited about it. If it was amended to say, let's make sure this pipe is not leaking because there's this pretense in there that this is about cleaning up the creek. That's not what it's about. This is about built, putting in a bigger pipe to ex serve more development, some of it outside our city, it's very clear, to increase development in Rolling Wood and Westlake, where we have no authority to impose the SOS ordinance. So this is about polluting Barton Creek about polluting Barton Springs, and about spending this first three million in contemplation of spending hundreds of millions more to deliver water we don't have, to treat sewage that we, sh we, we, we don't have the water to create the sewage to treat. And again, enormous sums of money that has to be redirected towards water efficiency and reuse. Um, that resolution needs amending or it needs to be voted down. Um, I think that is all of my items on the consent agenda. Mayor, members of council, my name is Richard Settle. I'm here on behalf of the, the Terrace, which is a project at the corner of Loop 360 and Mopac. And we're here today in support of and offering assistance as a resource in the study proposed in number 116. And as far back as 1995, we studied this very issue as this project was coming forward. And in 1995, the council passed another resolution instructing the city manager to enter into an agreement to um, do some water quality stuff and to increase capacity. And, and the council authorized the city manager to negotiate and execute the agreement for the construction and financing of certain improvements in this line, which then did, the construction did occur in 1997. And uh, as part of that agreement, the, when the owner agreed to make the improvements, the city agreed that it would not make any new water or wastewater, commi or wastewater commitments, reservations, or other types of allocations, or increase the upstream lift station pumping rates so as to cause the Barton Springs lift station to exceed certain capacities. And that was a safeguard both for my client to make sure that they were doing some work for the city, that we weren't going to over, over surcharge these lines. As part of that study, we studied the line and the laterals, which you will find when, you, when this study gets going. It's not just the line in the creek, but the laterals getting to it that leak. We had field trips where we would find stuff coming out into the creeks. But anyway, all that being said, my client stands ready to be a resource in this study. and. Um, be happy to share any information on those agreements back in 95 and 97. Thank you. Thank you.